Whitney Wolf Hurd is an American entrepreneur. She is the founder and CEO of publicly traded Bumble Incorporated, an online dating platform, launched in 2014. She was previously the vice president of marketing for Tinder. Wolf Hurd was named as one of 2017's and 2018's Forbes 30 Under 30, and in 2018 she was named in the Time 100 list. In February 2021, Wolf Hurd became the world's youngest, current, female, self-made billionaire when she took Bumble public. She is the youngest woman to have taken a company public, at age 31. Chapter 1 Early Life and Education Wolf Hurd was born as Whitney Wolf in Salt Lake City, Utah, to Michael Wolf, a wealthy property developer, who was Jewish, and Kelly Wolf, who was Catholic. Wolf Hurd attended Judge Memorial Catholic High School. When she was in fourth grade, the family went on a sabbatical in Paris, France. Wolf Hurd attended Southern Methodist University where she majored in international studies and was a member of the Kappa Kappa Gamma sorority. While in college and at the age of 20, she started a business selling bamboo tote bags to benefit areas affected by the BP oil spill. Wolf Hurd partnered with celebrity stylist Patrick Orflin Camp to launch the non-profit organization called The Helpers Project. The bags received national press after celebrities such as Rachel Zoe and Nicole Ritchie were photographed with them. Soon after, she introduced a second business with Orfton Camp called Tenderheart, a clothing line dedicated to raising awareness around human trafficking and fair trade. After graduating, Wolf Hurd traveled to Southeast Asia where she worked with orphanages. Chapter 2 Career Chapter 2 Section 1 Early Career In 2012, at age 22, Wolf Hurd joined the startup Cardify a project led by Sean Rad through Hatch Lab's IAC incubator. The project was later abandoned, but Wolf Hurd joined the development team for the dating app Tinder with Rad and Chris Kolzinski. Wolf Hurd became vice president of marketing for Tinder. She was reportedly behind the name of the app, taking inspiration from the Flame logo and the idea of Tinder, which is easily combustible material used to start a fire. She has also been credited with fueling its popularity on college campuses and growing its user base. Wolf Hurd resigned from Tinder in April 2014 due to growing tensions with other company executives. On June 30, she filed a lawsuit against Tinder for sexual harassment. She reportedly received more than $1 million US dollars as well as stock as part of a settlement in September 2014. Having found herself a receiver of online hate, Wolf Hurd started sketching out a female-only social network centered around compliments which was to be called Mercy. Even though she didn't want to go back to the dating industry initially, in the following months she cooperated with Badoo founder Andre Andreev on assembling a team and developing a new female-friendly dating app. She planned to name the app Moxie, but this name was already taken. Chapter 2 Section 2 Bumble Incorporated in December 2014, Wolf Hurd moved to Austin, Texas, and founded Bumble, a female-focused dating app. By December 2015, the app had reached over 15 million conversations and 80 million matches. After Wolf Hurd left Tinder, Andre Andreev, founder of Badoo, contacted her about creating a dating platform and partnered with her, and the company remains majority owned by Badoo. As of November 2017, Bumble had over 22 million registered users. In January 2018, CNBC reported that Badoo was seeking a sale that could value the company at about $1.50 billion. Wolf Hurd was named one of Business Insider's 30 most important women under 30 in tech in 2014. In 2016, she was named as one of L's women in tech. She was named to Forbes 30 Under 30 in 2017 and 2018. In December 2017, she was listed in a tech crunch feature on 42 women succeeding in tech that year. As of September 2019, Tinder and Bumble were the first and second most popular dating apps in the US, with monthly user bases of 7.9 million and 5 million, respectively. In March 2019, 
Wolf Heard testified before the Texas House Criminal Jurisprudence Committee about the prevalence of unsolicited explicit photos sent to female users on dating applications. In April 2019, Wolf released the first print issue of Bumble Mag in partnership with Hearst. In November 2019, Bumble's parent company Magic Lab was sold to the private equity firm The Blackstone Group, with co founder Andreev relinquishing his entire stake in both Bumble and its sister company, Badoo. Wolf Heard became CEO of the newly acquired Magic Lab, valued at $3 billion with an estimated 75 million users, and received an ownership stake of approximately 19% of the company. In 2020, Bumble replaced Magic Lab as the parent company of both Bumble and Badoo. As of 2020, Bumble has over 100 million subscribers worldwide. In February 2021, Bumble topped $13 billion in valuation after listing shares on the Nasdaq exchange. In 2021, Wolf Heard became the world's youngest self made female billionaire after taking Bumble public. Forbes estimated her net worth at approximately $1.5 billion. Chapter 2, Section 3 Chappie UK-based gay dating app Chappie was co-founded by Jack Rogers, Max Cheremkin and Ollie Locke and funded primarily by Bumble and Wolf Herd. Wolf Herd, impressed by the Chappie team's unique approach, led a seed round investment in Chappie. In 2016, TechCrunch wrote, the company is not disclosing the details of the investment, but they did say that Bumble is the sole investor in the round and will take an equity stake. In exchange, Bumble will be offering product development and marketing support. Similar to Bumble, Chappie was majority owned by Andre Andreev and being developed under the umbrella of the Badoo Group. The app was shut down in 2020. Chapter 3 Personal Life In December 2013, she met oil heir Michael Hurd on an Aspen skiing trip. They married in 2017. In December 2019, the couple announced the birth of their first child. In 2020, Forbes listed Wolf Heard at number 39 of the top 100 America's richest self made women.